Welcome everybody. How's everyone doing? I'm doing pretty good. Hope you and your loved ones are good. We're here at uh, General Mills. We're going to pick up Coca-Cola going to Nogales from Albuquerque. It's about 525 miles. So let's go get us our trailer and get underway. Very few loads coming out of Albuquerque. Uh, I had taken taking a load from Lamont to Albuquerque, but the video got all messed up, so couldn't do anything with it. So we're just going to start from Albuquerque here to get this load of Coca-Cola. Everything else was too short or too far. So we'll get around here and pick this load up. This will probably be, um, I will probably try to find a load coming out of Nogales going back to Phoenix. This will be this run or the next run may be the last one that um, I use for uh, with this truck. Now I gotta find this trailer. There it is. So we get backed up here, and we'll switch out trucks next time, and figure out which one we want to go with as, as a view of truck. I'm not sure which one I'll use just yet. It'll be one of them though, right? Because on my other profile, I'm under a real long load right now and I'm trying to uh, install the new map mod so uh, the Midwest I downloaded the Midwest map to go along with everything else and it looks nice so I'm gonna try to get a load coming out of there going to Phoenix and then we'll try the 567 so okay 43,000 got to start on first all right we're underway now got this load of coca-cola going to FedEx I don't like these container ships but or container type trailers but what are you gonna do right I think I'm gonna have to with this profile buy get some trailers because it seems like sometimes you have more diversity of loads sometimes not I mean my other profile has got like 70 or 80 million so it tells you how long I uh, how much I play on that other profile use this profile for recording so Oop, missed that shift just a little bit okay I'm gonna have to back up to make this so This is like the uh, going to Staples or what used to be 421 print. See, I can catch the curve every time. Now, if I'm running a 48 foot trailer, I usually don't have that crunch. 
but 53 is in a lot of these places. Just don't seem to work. I have uh, renamed the channel. It's probably going to go through one more renaming. Uh, my grandson and I came up with that we like. We're just trying to figure out how we're gonna how we're gonna use it, but the content will stay the same. You know, hopefully, y'all you know, do a like and subscribe. Turn left. Uh, I'm looking into a different logo design for the page. I'm also looking into stuff for merch because I really want to get into merch. And once I figure out the design for the channel, oops. Oh, I was in high, that's why. Um, once I figure out the design for the channel, the, the logo for the channel, then I'll start looking at getting some merch done up for starters and see how that goes. Get ready um, to turn left. And we'll start selling merch. And it might help the subscribers of the channel, you know, to get the subscribers and the views up. You know, when people realize, hey, this guy's got merch you can buy. Support the channel. So that's Go where I'm on. wanting to head right now. Boy, this LOD right there on some of the mud flaps is just ridiculous. It never used to be that way. Oh, look at that. That is cool. set we're good to go um, I'm not 
sure how they're getting me. I didn't check the map on how far or which route they're taking me on. Uh, from the appearance of it, it's south. I'll probably pick up I-10 and then go across I-10 to uh, I'm not sure the highway number that goes south to Nogales. I haven't done a lot of Mexican runs because for one, it seems like all the runs that I get coming out of the U.S. going that want to go to Me Mexico are long. Uh, the smallest one I've seen so far has been 968 miles. That's kind of a long trip. I mean, it's probably an hour and a half video, easy. Uh, we'll do it one day. I mean, we're gonna we'll get there. Uh, probably have to bring the Pete back for that run. Shoot, I might have to even use the Cascadia for that run because of the short nose. Smaller wheelbase. I do have uh, one of the trucks I used to have way, way, way back when I was driving, uh, first started driving and got inherited a truck was uh, the K100 Aerodyne cab over. Might have to bring that one out to do that, that run. Um, the one I got inherited with was a stretch uh, because it had a big sleeper on it, had a big motor in it that somebody else had put in it. Um, there wasn't anything that thing couldn't couldn't pull or haul easily. Um, the more horsepower you you don't even find the amount of horsepower that was in that truck you can't even find anymore. That was that was a thousand well it was a thousand horses of Cummings. You you can't even find those trucks anymore. Not realistically. There's a couple of uh, drivers that I used to know. Oh, there was fuel there. I should have went that way. A couple of drivers I used to associate with, and one of them had a uh, thousand horsepower cat. Uh, rebuilt and board and strokes and all that good stuff. Uh, and that thing was just purely a beast. That thing had run off from you, it run down a road at a hundred and a quarter, easily. Um, why you would ever want to go that fast in a truck, I have no clue. Um, I've been able to have trucks of my own that did 75, 80 miles, I'll do every bit of the speedometer, but why? I mean, that was, that was, uh, I'll be frank with you, it scared the shit out of me going that fast in a big truck. No need for it. Trucks aren't drag strips, they're not rocket ships, all that good stuff. They are strictly meant for pulling freight, and you don't need to go 80 miles an hour to pull freight. Not meant to go 80 miles an hour. They're big. Beep. Oh, and I saw this coming. No reason for you to hop out there in front of me like that, and you just did. Gosh, if you're going to move out and around somebody, let's be realistic on how you do it. You're not going to slow down if you're paying attention. You're not going to slow down. Get out in the passing lane and then try to speed up, especially as a truck. If you're paying attention, you have a, a further view than anything else on the road. 
you're going to go, you're going to see this coming up. You're going to be watching traffic to make sure you can do it. And pull out before you get up on the song bitch. And then, uh, you know, and then move out. You're not going to pull out going slow and then try to speed up your truck. You're, it's not going to happen. And in this case, you got, I had to hit the brakes, slam the brakes. And slow myself down because he made me slow down. And then, of course, I got her, you know, got into an open spot where it was safe. I move over and I passed him. There should be no reason why a big ass truck is still over in the passing lane when he's got room behind him. You know, there's room behind me that he could move over, but that would be, that would get you roped up in the real world. Cop would see that and guess what? You're, you're getting a ticket. I'd probably get one too for passing on the right, but you know, hey, you're out there in the in the speed lane, and I move over to the pass the, the the lane I should be in, and you know, I pass you up. Well, you know, that's how it is, I guess. But technically, you're not supposed to pass on the right. So, close that out now. You just motor along and talk and chat while we get this load to its destination as safely as we can. Like I said, as far as truck wise, this is one of the, the more stable trucks. On the road. Now, see, I'm coming up on this guy, so okay, I'm gonna move over. Because I know I'm gonna be catching up on him. Being mindful that. I'm at a quarter of a tank, so I need to start being mindful of fuel stops. And Odie and Garfield's head shaking around and they're agreeing with me. <laughs> I gotta find them to put them in my feet. I like having my little guys, my little co-companions. They sit, the, sit on this dashboard real nice. And the other thing that, that kind of irks me about some of the things I see with ATS and Grant, I know it's a game, but I like to I like to try to stay amongst realization as, as best as possible. It is against the law to have a cell phone attached to the front window anymore as a GPS. Most trucks come with GPS. Get you a tablet and stick it down on the dashboard for GPS, you don't need to use that damn phone in the window obstructing your view, you know. Guess I'm being petty, but that's just me. I'm going to have to sit down one of these days, probably take a a week off in the fall, sit down and figure out how I can channel more uh, traffic to the channel. Ooh.
ready. Turn right. Turn right. Takes a. I didn't think it'd be hard to drive and shift and talk, you know? We used to do it in real life all the time out of Bluetooth. Well, this is essentially a Bluetooth. But it's takes a little more than that. I'm going to go make a shortcut down here to pick up this fuel stop. Go straight on. I don't think I need I probably could use that too. Well, probably sleep too. Might as well get that done. Jesus. So I'll probably hit the repair, jump across the street, get fuel, and then take up and drive a rest. So I'm looking forward to this week at work. Now, I want to come home Tuesday night, take a shower, get something to eat, do a video. Wednesday, probably do a video. Um... And then Thursday night, uh, I've taken a day, I've taken Friday off, so I'll probably come home Thursday night, take a shower, get something to eat, do a video, Friday do a video, Saturday do a video, if not, I might get two of them, or three of them done on Friday. And I'll schedule them for uploads so y'all have something. You know, until next week. And then the following week, I'm not taking any days, so. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm gonna have to try to get acclimated into this new schedule. And then try to, uh, figure out how I'm going to get videos for Monday and Tuesday and then uh, Thursday and Friday you know so that way y'all got videos until I can you know get more done go straight on you'll have videos for the two days I'm working Oh, brakes, come on, dude. I might have to tighten these brakes up a little bit. But then you'll have videos like on 
Monday. And I can get one done Tuesday. And then you'll have a video for Thursday. And then I can do one Friday night. See, it might be a day without a video, but I'll make it up. Trust me. Even when my grandson comes over and does his videos, I can still do videos. I like doing videos. And we're going to be getting into another truck here shortly, so it'll be another three or four loads with a different truck. You'll get to see another truck. Jeez, I barely got out into the intersection and the thing changed. Reroute. Okay, that's key width. Oh, this might be one of those. Oh yeah, this is going to be one of those I don't have to try to squeak into. I really don't like those ones where you got iron railings on either side and you got to put your truck in between them. So, okay, let's get this repaired. Oh, did I miss the X? No, I haven't crossed up on it yet. There we go. Okay, let's get the repairs done. Wow. Ouchie. Okay, so now we can go across the street and get fueled. Take the rest for the driver. 15 seconds, something like that, whatever it takes. Oh, come on, y'all are gonna block me up like that. Y'all are a bunch of hoses. Okay, let's get the fuel. Drink, baby, drink. And we'll park this baby up, let the driver get his rest, and then hit it and finish it. Sunday, right? Well, I should be. Oh, yeah. Oops. If I took off the e brake. Like I said, I really can't wait to get my button box. That's really where the difference is going to be made. It's going to cost me some money, but I think it'll be worth it. Let the driver get some sleep. Okay, we're ready to go. That quick. Up 
on the highway and go. differently because it does not want to slide. I don't want it to stop on a dime because trucks don't stop on a dime, but I don't want it to take a city block either to stop it 30 miles an hour. somebody at 55, 60 miles an hour, it's a dog. Unless you downshift. And I've got a, a robust motor in there. It's 650 cubic inch, or 650 horsepower, 2200 pounds of torque. Get over here so y'all can come out. And you want to sit there and wait, that's your prerogative, but I moved over for you. I'm gonna tell you what, even even in the peak with the, the new game the way they've got it laid out, which is phenomenal. Yeah, I used to be able to get a little break and get her going and, and get out and, and be up to speed rather quickly and it's like not anymore I gotta give it a little more room even with all that horsepower and torque you gotta give it more room and you definitely gotta give it more when you're uh, Hauling heavy. Oh, that's the tenth. That's the outside tenth. That's what that is. Seventy, seventy-five, seventy-six degrees, something like that. Like I said, this truck is uh, pretty decent. The only problem that I've seen with the truck is the handles on the stacks. When you're trying to look out the window and look back, because those handles are like right there. But it is what it is. Let's see when we're due to arrive. 2300 
roughly half an hour game time be 300 miles when I'm here. And I know where I'm pretty well going in Nogales. I've been to FedEx down there a bunch of times before I started recording, so. tonight for work and get me something to eat. Might just make myself a burger. I don't know. What y'all think? Buy these black Angus beef patties and got buns and cheese and I can cut up an onion if I want but normally I just use a little onion salt on the burger and we're good. daughter buys this stuff that's ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together to, uh, to die for. And I like I like ketchup on my burger with mayonnaise on it. Kind of grosses my stepson or my grandson out, but hey, you know, it is what it is. He doesn't like mayonnaise on his burgers. trying to tell me he's right there like I didn't know that but he got a video done he'll probably get uh, I'm assuming probably before he leaves tomorrow I'll probably get one one more done he needs to write down though since I'm not gonna be here when he when he leaves he needs to write down oh whoa hello truck he needs to write down what he wants to name it Otherwise, I have to try to pick a name. I'm no good at it. What he needs to do, what to start doing when he comes over is like, do maybe payday, do, do another video of C, do another video of Apex. And do another Fortnite video. I mean, out in three days how you can do all four of them videos. He's a smart kid. He'll figure it out. Or two days. So at least do one in Apex and, and do another in like maybe Seas because that's where he got most of the boats with Seas. Seas or Payday too, either one. But he seems to like Apex. He did see us go, which he hadn't done in a while, which I was glad to see. And I'm going to start playing a game that we bought for him to play, and he had fun with it. It's a PC build simulator. We'll do the career and record that. You know, as a career mode, move right along. Yeah, I, I got to learn. Learn it a little bit first, but I mean, I don't be building a PC that's uh, got that down. Oh, look away with this thing suddenly, and you drift a lot. Got to start. Uh, Getting stuff ready for. Need to get a new radiator for the PC Go and on. getting a bigger one and uh, pay my stepson back and get my uh, liquid cool graphics card. really want to go to the liquid, De uh, liquid Devil, being at it's a 5700 XT and there's topping out at 
2140 or 2150 maximum megahertz. Like I said, it's about probably about 30 more frames in that game right now. But that's going to be the ceiling. With a 2070 Super will probably allow me to go a little higher. You know, if I get the hybrid, it comes with its own liquid cooler then, but what do you do, you know, when, when the three years when the AIO is probably war, war well, it might last a little bit longer for a graphics card versus the whole AIU, AIO for a computer. Uh, you know, eventually get to where I'm replacing the block and I want to go to PETG, rigid tubing. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of expensive endeavor though, not for the tubing or anything, but for the fact that the um, elbows, because I, I don't have the space nor the patience to heat it up and bend it myself, not to mention I'd have to go buy a heater and a heat gun. buy a whole lot of tube just so I don't want to ruin it. When I ruin it, I got extra tube because I know I'm going to ruin it. Always happens with the measurements and then the bend doesn't come out the right way or kinks or bubbles or whatever so I figured I'd just go into using go straight on. the fittings you know 90 degree fittings 60 degree 45 degree whatever I need uh, and do it that way but I think rigid tubing it look a lot better than like right now I'm running soft tubing but it is what it is perfect dog I need to come over to move my main garage from Phoenix to Vernal, Utah, because there seem to be good loads coming out of there, and when I looked around, there wasn't that many places to pull from. I think if anything, if I was going to move it from Phoenix, I'd probably go to Salt Lake City. But there, there's a lot of places in Salt Lake to, to pull brick from. That's mainly why I sat myself in Phoenix as, as the main garage, because of all the diversity of freight that you get to pull from Walmart, Best Buy, FedEx, Phoenix Freight, Chevron, Tenworth, 
uh, staples, you know, all them. Sentex, they're all in Phoenix. Kiwit, I think it is, or Cat, one of the two. And when I when I on. planned planned my stuff out, I wanted to be able to have a massive freight without driving, you know, six thousand miles, figuratively speaking, to pick up freight. The only time I have to do that coming out of Phoenix is if I pick up a Cascadia Farms. It's the only one that's out there. Um, now with, if I went to MHA, back to their map, for the main maps, of course I don't know if it'll work with Sierra Nevada and all that. Um, They had idea or I IKEA. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. thing I like about Cat Knight's mode or mod for traffic is that you get like this and depending on where you're at you uh, get ready to don't have any traffic to deal with and knights are generally Quieter driving. You have arrived. Which is nice because you don't have all that traffic to mess with, but your your rush times are just that too, so Okay. Oh, they're gonna make us back in over there. There were tractors on these trailers. This, this back would be hellish. Just like when our MHA would have a trailer sitting over here. See, I got that stack right there. Don't like it, which means I'm gonna have to pull up, straighten her out. I'd like to try to get. My back is. And a perfect. And there we are, guys. We hear. Oh, wrong button. All right, 528 miles, 13 hours, 54 minutes, 75.9 gallons 
of fuel used. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until, uh, until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Until next time, guys. Bye.